So it's time for our first modern application of logs. And you'll be able to relate to this application as you've worked with solving exponents already. Quick review. Example 1. x squared equals 361. Solve for x. Well, we're squaring the x, so to isolate it we would, well, the opposite of squaring is square rooting, so we pull out our calculator and the square root of 361 is 19. Another review. Example 2. 2x two cubed equals 686. So isolating for our x, and first we think, let's divide both sides by 2. And we're left with x cubed equals 343. We're cubing the x, so the opposite of cubing it is cube rooting. So we pull out our calculator, and the cube root of 343 is 7. All right, so we've done that one. And so far, it's a good review, get our heads back into solving with exponents, but nothing new yet. What if the unknown is the actual exponent itself? Example 3. 4 to the power of x is 64. And so isolating here isn't quite so easy. Having run into problems like this in the past, your only hope was that we were working with some nicely cooked up problem like this, where you can recognize that 64 is just the same as 4 to the power of 3. And now we have the same basis, so the solution becomes apparent x has to be 3 to make this equal. And again, we happen to be able to make a common base. Other than the cooked up questions like this, we'd have been stuck, assuming that we don't want to spend a lot of time doing trial and error, that is plugging in all kinds of different exponents until we finally get to 64. And here's the plot twist. Our new knowledge of logs gives us a method to solve these in our calculator. Whether they're cooked up or not, they all work. Example 4. 5 to the power of x equals 100. Solve for the x. And again, typical isolating, well, that's not an option. Also, there's no way that we can convert 100 into a base 5 with an exponent. We'd be stuck. So let's switch this to log form. The power that would cause base 5 to be 100 would be written as log base 5 100 equals x. Or, switching it around, x equals log base 5 100. It's not base 10, so to use our calculator, we'd have to switch this up to log 100 over log 5. And now we can plug it into our calculator. And we get 2.861 rounded. And we can test our result. 5 to the power of 2.861. And with a little rounding, yes, we get 100. Confirmed. You now have a method to solve exponential equations that prior to your understanding of logs would have been systematically impossible. Whenever you're asked to solve an equation where the unknown is an exponent, now you can resort to logarithms in your expanding list of effective math tools.